ranchers welcome back to ranch simulator i'm sleeping in the tent and it's going to be a good day a lot of hunting has been going on as you can imagine but i've been kind of working on the house a little bit we just need a little bit of concrete but a lot of metal but i believe i got the cash to do so i brought the table saw over here because it just makes it easier you know just pick it up put it down it doesn't require the generator like i said this one just requires some gasoline once in a while and we're all set there. Uh, the one thing I will say, I hope I can take them out when I when I get the concrete done. But you can see, we just need a couple more planks put down, a little bit more concrete, but a lot of metal. I accidentally dropped some planks down. And you can see through the ghost image, you can kind of see the planks down there. There's three of them. Uh, yeah, I tried everything to try to pick them up. I tried squatting down. Uh, I tried changing them from third person, both sides, first person view. Nothing. Uh, so they're there. I'm wondering when we get the concrete built if I can pick them up through the floor. But if not, it's no big deal. Just that my OCD is going to bother me knowing that they're kind of down there. But anyways, I'm almost up to $2,000. Hip hip hooray. Uh, as for the side quest for the the, the water tank or, tank or whatever heck it said, I thought it was for the well, but it was actually for the igloo jug. And when I put it down a couple times, it didn't clear it. But after I put it down out here, all of a sudden it cleared it. So you don't have to build another well for that. And I completed, of course, all the quests. Uh, I think the last quest was uh, demolish the house. And I already had that done. And I believe I got $1,000 for uh, getting all the side quests done. So no more side quests or main quests. Now that brings up, since I'm saying side quests, I thought the side quest was supposed to be in the June update. But maybe that's the August update. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, wait, can I do that here? Uh, yeah, so if you go to quest, there's uh, there's the main quest line. I don't have any pending. And there's going to be side quest line. I don't know what that's going to be. I'm guessing maybe once they get people on the map, we'll do side quest for them. And that's the quest that we have completed. Uh, but the first thing we're doing today is, well, I got, the, I got our UTV all emptied up because we're going to go down and spend some cash. If I see a deer, I'm just passing up because I... <laughs> yeah, you haven't been on this road in a long time. Now, here you are. The morning, I don't really care about hunting right now. I want to get the house built, and then we're going to go over a few things after that as well. We are up to now five chickens. We originally had four. Uh, this way. I had to think for a second which way I want to go. So, yeah, we, we had a rooster and three hens. Am I going the right way? I'm not used to, yeah, I'm not used to going right to the hardware store. I'm used to going to the gas station first. So, it kind of messed me up a little bit. But yeah, we finally uh, had a chick born, and now it's a full-sized hen, so that's good news for us. And uh, yeah, another thing I kind of forgot about until the, the previous day here, actually in-game, I forgot that the the burger, burger Hut, or whatever the heck it's called, we can sell food there. I've been selling all my meat at the general store. I got to check the uh, Burger Hut once in a while because sometimes they have fantastic uh, buying opportunities for certain things. I only got wild meat, so yeah, who knows. Uh, so we're gonna buy one concrete bag, and then I need one, two, you know what, I might as well buy three. I need 140, we'll just buy 150, how's that? I should have enough, $1,750. Uh, yeah, we'll check on out. Thank you for your purchase, you are welcome. That should allow us to buy the store, not the, yeah, buy the store. <laughs> Uh, build the house. Let's go ahead and put these in here. Yeah, buying in bulk like that, sh you know, you should get a better deal for buying in bulk. I'm just saying, but uh, no, it's the same price. You're going to pay the same for the same amount of material. So the only thing it does is it reduces the amount of material that you can store in the back of your UTV. You don't have to, you know, go hog crazy on it. That should be enough. Go ahead and put that in there and let's go get that concrete put in because that bag's getting wet. So that concrete's getting nice and wet. It's probably already starting to heat up and, 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 and chemicalize and do all the things that it needs to do to harden up. So let's get back on home. Yeah, weight is not a problem in the UTV. You can load it up pretty darn good. So in case you don't know what I'm talking about, about the burger... I forgot what this place is called. Is there a sign actually outside? best burger yeah, it's the best burger so if you come out back here and I probably should take a look to see what's uh, what the deal is for today it changes every day uh, so today it's oh wild meat wild meat is uh, a multiplier so I don't have any wild meat so I can't see what it sells for oh there's actually a worker in here can I buy food from you dude 
I think you're the first human being I've seen other than me on this map. All right. Uh, so I got to bring some my wild meat down later on. We'll have to go ahead and do that. But anyways, let's get back on home. And I can say home because it will be a home here very soon. And then I got some plans. Uh, not that we're going to do today, but we can talk about the plans of uh, how we're going to build up the ranch this time. Uh, terrific driving. Okay, I did want to say, talk about the UTV about... It's very hard to get this thing stuck, and it is. You can Once you even get on your side, you can just flip it around just by going forward and backward a couple times. You're just going to stay right there, are you? Um, yeah, now you run away. Of course you would. Come back. Can you just, like, stand still for a second? I said I wasn't going to hunt deer, but now that wild meat is on a multiplier. Alright, you stay there. And I'll be back later on to uh, collect my goods. Alright, let's go finish up this house. Now, I got most of the planks on. I got about 14 more planks to put in. Uh, the concrete should be rather simple. And, of course, the metal is going to be rather simple. We're going to have this done in no time flat. And then we'll have to check on our chickens. Make sure they're, they're pretty much okay, I do believe. Alright, first thing I want to do is we're going to grab the concrete and enter... So it doesn't fill the concrete stock actually complete, even though the concrete, I mean, I, I don't, okay, uh, whatever. Uh, let's grab this. And then this. Now I've already spent two grand on concrete, so I had a lot of the concrete already put in. And that, oh, there's a floor being done. I wonder, I wonder, wonder, wonder. They're down there. They're down there somewhere. And they're going to stay there, apparently. That's fine. But now at least if I drop any planks, they should fall... Oh, I don't want to pick up the table. Um, they should fall on that floor. Alright, let's go upstairs. And we'll just hit some random spots here. Now, there is some paint laying on the floor. I'm wondering after we get done building the house, are we going to be able to pick what, any color we want for the house? Or is that just going to disappear? Yep, wasn't watching where I was walking. I fell through my planks. Well, it's not like my planks. It's not like I put them there on purpose to walk on. But I think this is going to be the same house we built at the end of the April update. And then when I found out that, yeah, it's going to require a new save. It's like, well, no sense of going any further because we were along pretty far. now here we are again. Oh, and what I've been doing to get to some of the planks, the little sapling trees that were around here. Those little trees, kind of like that. Uh, I was just cutting those down around here and I get like one log for each one for the most part. Sometimes you get nothing, but I don't like those little uh, saplings anyway, so they're gone. They are gone. So, how we doing here? Where's... Uh, Oh, I just need one more. All right, so where am I going? That's only going to require one more. Did I read that right? 63 out of 64. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's right. I'm like, why didn't... Oh, there it goes. I was like, I think I'll leave the house here. Yep, this is the same house that we built at the end of the April update. Perfect. So the good thing about this house here, it's already going to have... Unless they took it out. Nope. Uh, this will be the drying rack for the, the link sausages. Uh, this will be the um, place for the cheese to ferment and turn into moldy cheese or whatever. So I got all that. But what we're going to do here in the future, and probably going to be pretty darn soon. Can I use the refrigerator? I cannot. Uh, maybe for starters, once we get going, we'll maybe do some of the processing in here. But I think what we're going to do is since we can build our own building... We'll probably build our own building because we can also make, uh, is it going to be in here? Or is it going to be in here? I think it's in here. Yeah, it's in here. Um, so we can buy right here, reserve bin for meat right here. The only thing it doesn't show is how much it holds. And here's one preserving bin for cheese. Used for cheese production, used for meat production. So it doesn't say how much it can hold, but it's not that expensive. We're talking 16 planks. The metal can be a little expensive, I suppose. Um, we can also put lamps in there and tables. Tables, good. 
because if I remember correctly, there is not much room in this kitchen to be putting things on the counter. I think we end up using the table for our processing. So we have our house, which means our bedroom is, is it around here? Is it in here? Oh, I got a comfy bed to, to stay in. Let me go ahead and save the game because, you know. All right, so we have a nice, lovely house now to call home. Um, it's a lovely little ranch. I'm hoping we can do some more landscaping later on, like, you know, maybe put down some dirt paths and maybe uh, dirt roads here and there on our own property, which would be good. Actually, let me pick... Um, let me pick this up. Uh, is that going to fit anywhere? I'll go there. And we'll pick... No, turn off. Pick up. There we go. Can I place it? There we go. Because the next thing we're going to need to be working on is the barn. Now, I don't know how I want to approach this. So I want to do cows or pigs first. Now... Uh, pigs will just, you know, eat, 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 and we just got to harvest them and do whatever. Let me pick this up. I'm going to put this down. You know, right there is probably good. That way when I make planks, boom, we can just go ahead and put them on in. So I don't remember now in the store, there is male and female pigs, which, um, I think before was just pigs. I cannot remember. So I'm wondering, since there's male and female pigs, are they going to reproduce like the chickens do? That's a question to, ha to have, isn't it? Uh, we're going to put our extra stuff in here. This building will be going bye-bye in the future once um, we get a nice little... We're going to build a, something kind of this size over by the barn. Now, I'll probably end up having a couple barns here, but to start with, we're just going to have just one. Uh... That way, like I said, we're going to put our productions into a building size like that and also store extra material in there as well. Let me go over here and check on the chickens. You know, let me go ahead and fill up the bucket. See what the chickens are doing. I'm going to leave the eggs there. So until the burger hut, or whatever the heck is called, has a great deal on eggs, I'll just leave the eggs be. Now that's a big water trough for the chickens. I they, They're hardly ever going through that. Little by little they are. Let's go ahead and put some feed in there. And I'll show you how many eggs we got going here. It's not too bad. Like I said, now we're up to five chickens. Part of me thought about getting another rooster just to go ahead and get the reproduction rate up a little bit. But we only had four hens, but now we got five hens. So, no, sorry, we had three hens. Now we got four hens. I'm just going to let that go. And we'll see how long it takes to get up to 20 chickens. I may go ahead and build another one of these, you know, in the future. Probably put it right down right here. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I built this one right here because this is part of the main quest line. So, yeah, you have to place one of these down anyways. It only costs like 15 planks, no metal, no concrete. So, we are good there. Uh, let's go back over to the UTV. And back on up. And now I got to get all my coolers back in. Like that. I couldn't believe just before I started recording, I went, wait a minute, I can sell at the burger, the burger hut. They have great demands once in a while. I forgot all about it. So how many times I missed that, but okay. No harm, no foul, I guess. There we go. And I always carry the gas can with me. There we go. That's my setup for hunting. So now we got the house built. I don't know if that was a big if that was the biggest expense. Uh, did I really need it? Not, I mean, you don't really need it because you can sleep in the tent. And of course, like I just showed you, you can cut, we can kind of build our own little quote unquote building if you want and put our meat processing stuff in there. So that house right there, which is called the retro farmhouse, that's going to set you back about four grand, uh, for the concrete and all the metal. Uh, the planks are of course free. Just by going out in the wilderness and cutting down trees and processing them. I mean, if you want to add the fuel cr uh, costs in there, that's fine. All right, so where was that deer? The deer was down here somewhere. So I was going to remember where it was, and there it is. And we'll process right on up. 
Now that multiplier that you saw at the store, that can change. So it's not like the, the multiplier is always, I think today was 1.6. Uh, the day before when I just remembered about it, it was 1.9 for like blue cheese and all this other stuff. So let's go over to here. Yeah, I think the shoe TV is always going to be my hunting vehicle. I'm going to leave it set up just like this. Um, maybe get the pickup truck and all that later on for buying building material. So let's come in here. So instead of getting $15 per, today I'm getting $24 per. So let's go ahead and sell that, sell that, and sell that. Uh, get my bank account back up to 506 bucks, which is, uh, nope, sorry, wrong button. Exit on out. All right, so now what I want to do is we're going to go up to the general store. Now, I don't think I can transfer. I think it says chickens in the UTV, right? But what I may do is what we did before. I may go ahead and purchase the animals and walk them back to the farm, the ranch. Can't call it a farm, it's a ranch. So, yeah, when you buy animals, usually got to put them in the back of a vehicle and transport them. I probably will just go ahead and walk them back. Let's have a quick look of what's going on in here in the store. And I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. The reason why I'm kind of leaning towards pigs, if we go to buy... So one cow is 650. If I buy one male, one female pig, that's a total of 600. So it's $50 cheaper and I get two of them. So if they reproduce, you get where I'm going there. So next question I have is when I make sausage links, I kind of forgot. I think I need a pan, right? I need a pan. So that's not $66 for a pan. We need a lot of feed. So that, that's here or near there. The manual sausage stuffer. That is rather cheap, but in order to use that, you got to use it like you do the well, if I remember correctly. So I was sitting there and rotating it for, I don't want to say as easy as it is. I'm probably going to use the electric sausage stuffer because it's only a thousand dollars. So that's not too bad. Uh, I want to mean, oh, I'm going to need the meat grinder as well. Yep. You got to grind the meat, then stuff it. That sounds terrible, but uh, that's what you got to do. So I don't think I need the pan. The pan's for the milk, to curdle the milk, and then, of course, uh, put the mold into it. So, yeah, that's $2,500. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, I'm already up to five. I mean, that's like, on good hunting days, that's like maybe a week's worth of hunting on good days. But, I mean, that's where you make your money, right? That is where you definitely make your cash. Uh, while I'm here, how am I doing on bullets? How am I doing on bullets? 127. I think I'm fine for at least a few more days. Uh, my, my aim is improving slowly but surely. All right, so now we'll head on back home. So I think we're going to go ahead and get set and ready for some pigs. So what I'll probably be doing between episodes is doing just a little bit more hunting. Hunting, hunting, hunting is what you could pretty much do in the beginning. And, uh, hmm. now the only thing I, I wish we could do with the wild meat, like we do with the regular meat, which is, you know, if you want to go hunting, grind that up and make different kinds of sausage links. But I think with the wild meat, the only thing we can do is just sell it outright. I don't think we can make anything with it. I'm also going to look at my old videos for doing the sausage link because I got to remember the recipe for making sausage links. I think it's like if you put one egg in with a sausage link, it ups the price of the slinks themselves, I do believe. So what we need to do now is, um, what we are going to do is I'm going to stop the UTV right here, grab that, and we're just going to put this stuff back on down. Yeah, I know. I just put it in there. I'm going to take it back out. No big deal. No big deal. Um, actually, you know what? I don't, I, I, let's not run out of gas. Let's go ahead and do this. I didn't fill up the UTV today, which I do every day, but this should be fine. All right, let's go ahead and put this down. So what I do, cause I'm not really sure how I want it to look around here. I'm not cutting the trees around the ranch. Other than the saplings I cut down around the house, I just come up here. 
this lovely little ridge. It's not far from the ranch, so I don't want to go too far. And there is, oh, there's a deer back here. Um, there's a good set of trees back here like this. I don't know if these are, resp there's a couple deer back here. Holy smokes. So I've been cutting these trees on down. And getting my logs like this. Now, the only thing you got to be careful of is uh, sometimes these logs, if the tree falls the correct way, the logs will just roll all the way down the flipping hill. So, don't forget if you, what I could have done was I could have, am I in the way? Yeah, I was in the way. Uh, I could have put the blueprint up to ghost image of the barn and see how many planks I needed. And then I could just come up here, of course, divide the planks by two. And that's how many logs I need to finish that section. Um, I don't know. The only thing I haven't figured out yet, and maybe I kind of want to do it, but I don't want to do it yet, is I want to demolish that small chicken coop to see if I get any material back on that. You know what? Maybe we'll do that just to see if I get material back so we all can learn. Now, the reason why I say this is, so say like uh, I put one midsection down of the barn and then I put the back end in, but then later on I want to expand it. I want to demolish the back end of the barn to expand it. So I'm just wondering if I get material back. But I'm just showing you right now, in case you're new to Ranch Simulator, how to get your logs and how to transport them around. And you can stack them pretty darn high. I have to remember, that sometimes if the deer aren't around the ranch, they're back here. Now, the only thing I will say about the camera view of the UTV is when you go uphill and downhill, sometimes the camera will start doing 360s on you. And they can drive you nuts. All right, let's back this up to here, and I'll be making some planks probably during the nighttime. But let's go ahead and get... Uh, where is the barn? There's the barn. So you got the barn front, barn back, barn midsection. I was going to say, does it just snap? And it, it did there for a second. There it goes. Uh, we'll place that down. And you know what? I think we'll go do that for starters. And that is it. Uh, so I need 40 planks. That's not many planks at all. Let's get out the our crowbar. And let's come over here and demolish the small chicken coop. I was going to keep it around just for a little bit. In case I, you know, I got more roosters uh, from them hatching. I was going to put them in here. But you know what? Yeah, so you get zero material back in return. Zero. So just be careful. Like, if you're building a house, you want to tear it down thinking to get material back. Uh, you're not going to. As for the coops, uh, the small coop, that's all planks. So it's not that big of a deal. Same thing with the barn. That is all planks. So not that much big of a deal. And I'm trying to think, is that going to be big enough for what we're going to do here? Probably will be. But I'll tell you what, I, you know, I'll probably get uh, these sections built in between episodes and we'll build the end of section together. And hopefully next episode, we will go ahead and get uh, maybe some pigs. But I just remembered I wanted to do something else. Let's head on down to... Uh, crap, let me go ahead and empty these out here. Yep, we'll go ahead and just put these down. Uh, what time is it? It's almost it's almost quitting time. I got about like another hour. I don't know if the store closes or not. I want to go on down to the hardware store and get some paint. Let's go ahead and put that there. Anywhere we do, Peanut, don't, don't worry about where you're placing the darn things. All right, let's go to the hardware store, and I want to get, like I said, some paint. I want to see what we can actually do with that. I know it sounds stupid to say, what can you do with paint? Well, you paint things. What can we paint? And for 40 bucks, I want to find out. On through. Nope. Keep on going. I don't know if these stores have uh, regular hours. I think they close at, what, 8 o'clock at night? I know the general store did. I wonder if it still does. So I still got it like a half an hour here. I know it's getting dark for you guys. So what we may do is just buy some paint, sleep until the morning, and find out. 
Because what I can do is uh, sleep in the morning, the game will save, and then if I like the color of what we paint things, yeah, I'll just revert back. Um, so let's go with something that we know is different. Uh, let's go with like a kind of a bluish color. All right, we can see the saturation. Right, let's go ahead and buy that. Thank you for your purchase. Oh, it just it ends up right there. All right. And it got dark really quick. So I'll tell you, I want to go back. Sleep through the night and we'll wake up in the morning and see what we can do with this paint. <laughs> I just realized I slept in the tent last night. Yeah, who, who wants to sleep in the house? Anyways, let's go ahead and grab the paint. Uh, can I paint the chicken coop? Can I do that? Press E to paint. Um, okay. Okay. Well, that is awesome. Oh, I could you could paint things different colors if you wanted to because it's different sections. Oh, I may paint the doors a different color. All right, so we can paint. Wait, can I paint the... I can paint the feed troughs as well, it looks like. Uh, can we paint the barn? Oh, well, that that's a downer. Doesn't say I can... I, I do got paint left, right? Yeah, still got 15, 15 out of 20 paint. Um, can we paint the house? Wait, what did it show me? Oh, E to cut the tree. I'm like, wait, can I paint the tree? Imagine if you could paint the trees. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, I would go nuts doing something stupid like that. But it doesn't look like you can paint the house. I suppose if you built your own house, you could kind of paint the walls, please. Ew, you can't. Uh, what about these things? Nope, nope, and nope, 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 nope. I mean, this house looks pretty darn good. I like green, but that wallpaper is just... Yeah. So, the chicken coops. Yeah, we can paint the chicken coops. I kind of yeah, I kind of like that a little bit better than the just the plain wood. I usually like plain, the look of plain wood, but uh, that blue color... I wonder if the store keeps the same color. You know what I'm saying? If, it, if When I was there... Can I paint the... Can I paint my drawers? You can. Oh, you know me. I may I may go ahead and just use a whole bunch of fancy, odd-looking colors. Uh, do we have any chicks roaming around here? No, still... So just... Uh, yep, just still now... We're up to five. We are up to five. But not too bad, I guess. Uh, so since last episode, this episode, we got an extra chicken, which is now fully grown. Uh, we painted our chicken coop to a bluish color. Uh, the barn is still still here. But we're going to expand on the barn, as you can see. It's only going to take 40 planks, and I already got maybe like 10 logs here. And it's not going to take me too long to go up and get some more logs. Uh, now that I remember that I can go ahead and sell some wild meat down at the burger joint when it's a great demand. And, of course, we got our house built. A ranch. Gotta call it a ranch. So it's looking pretty good. Now I can remember just to sleep in there. So I'll probably, definitely, um, definitely want to do the electric meat grinder and the electric, electric sausage uh, link thing. Now the only thing I'm wondering is, I mean obviously it needs electricity. So does it, does it have to be within a certain distance of like inside of a building? So if I build a brand new building, am I going to be able to use the electric grinder and stuff in, in my own building? I don't know. We're, that we're, I got to get about a couple grand to find out. So to get this whole process up and going, need some pigs. Uh, Six hundred dollars worth of pigs. Got to transport them here. Oh, I probably need to put some gates around here as well so they can roam around. Uh, yep. Yeah. This reminds me though. We are going to have to do a side door and place that there. Uh, we're also going to need. I'm already on the, on the page, Peanut. You just got to find it. Uh, we're going to need these. Um, is that going to fill it in? 
I hope that gets filled in when I build it. I mean, wait, I got some metal. Right, we got some leftover metal. I should be able to do that door. But we'll do it next episode. Yeah, <laughs> that's really I gotta put some planks up. Oh, I see some hearts coming from the chicken coop. Oh, may have may have a, nut, a chicken in a day or so. Uh, more chickens, more eggs, more whatnot. But yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Just gotta do some building, like I said. Um, I'll get some planks going. I'll have to put like a little fence line around here. I may actually do a double fence. In other words, because as you know, you gotta open the gate to bring in some stuff. And when you try to open the gate, the animals are in and try to get out. So if I do like a double gate system, they won't be able to escape as easy. And as for wolves, I have not seen a wolf yet, so I don't know um, where they're at or even if they are here. But anyways, that is going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Ranch Simulator. But until then, have a good one.